Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to move your Ethereum from Gemini or Coinbase or any other exchange. Of course, I will be using Gemini in this case, and I want to move it to my wallet. And the wallet I'm going to be using is MetaMask. That's the wallet that I use, that I uh, use the most. But you can do this with any wallet. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our account. In my case, it's going to be Gemini. And I already have went ahead and purchased the Ethereum. And normally when you purchase, and it depends on the exchange you use, like Coinbase. Coinbase usually uh, is available immediately to send. And with this, one, we're going to withdraw. So in Gemini, you have to wait about 24 hours before you can send it. Or in this case, we're going to withdraw. So let me go to the portfolio and I'll show you. So when I bought the Ethereum yesterday, it is right here. Okay. It's about uh, $91 and change. Okay. So this is my Ethereum. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to transfer the Ethereum. Okay, so we want to withdraw from Gemini. That's what we want to do. Okay. And we're going to pull down the window here, pull down the menu, excuse me. And here it is. The ones that are highlighted are the ones that are available for withdrawal. If they are grayed out, that means either you don't have uh, that amount or you're earning it. And if you're earning it, you need to redeem the earning amount first. But in this case, I just bought the Ethereum yesterday. I didn't put it to earn or anything. So here it is. You can see it's highlighted. So we're going to select it if. We're going to click on continue. And next is going to say select destination. Transfer to, this is where you're going to put your wallet address. And since I'm using MetaMask, I'm going to go over to my MetaMask account. Okay. And the wallet address is right here. We're going to copy that. we got to put it over here. We're going to paste it. Okay. Now, of course, make sure, see, since I'm sending Ethereum, Make sure your wallet is set up for the Ethereum mainnet. Otherwise, if you put a, uh, an address here that is not Ethereum base, you're going to lose your funds. Okay, so you make sure you're on Ethereum. Since you're sending Ethereum, make sure your address matches with the blockchain. It's Ethereum, okay? So just make sure that. So anyway, so we copy and paste the uh, at wallet address here. Now we're going to put uh, click on continue. Now I'm going to withdraw the maximum, but you can put the amount that you want to withdraw. If and in my case, I'm going to put maximum. So it's going to be uh, 0.02934 Ethereum. We're going to click continue. Okay, and it's telling me right here, this is what I want to do. Yes, I want to withdraw. And here you're going to put your authentication code. And that is going, that is going to be, uh, they're going to send my to, that to my phone. And I will put that in there. And this is just a one-time code. Okay, so let me just put that in there. Okay, and we're going to click on Submit. Okay, and there it is. It says, yeah, just transfer this amount of Ethereum to this address. Okay, so now we're going to go back to my wallet. And we're going to wait a few minutes. As you can see, 
I'm still waiting for the Ethereum to uh, transfer over to my wallet. And you can check the status here. You can view it on Etherscan. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to uh, this last transaction right here. And it's been six minutes now. And you click on the uh, transfer, the uh, TXN hash. As you can see, it's still pending. Okay. And it's now seven minutes. Normally, um, it takes about five to ten minutes. And depending on what time of the day it is, it can take a little bit longer. But normally, it's usually around under five minutes most of the time for me but I see it's a little longer than usual as you can see the transfer went right through we have the success and it took about uh, 10 minutes and 36 seconds okay and now let's go back to our wallet and there it is updated okay and we see the activity right here so we received ninety one dollars and twenty two cents worth of ethereum and added to the amount that was already there okay so this is how you transfer your ethereum from an exchange like gemini to your metamask wallet or any other wallet okay so there you go if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and please share this video uh, i'm making this video for beginners uh just like me i was a beginner a few uh, a few months ago and i just want to share these videos with you guys and so again thank you for watching take care bye bye